time. You were laughing, and I wanted to know. I what was you were laughing because I, I always like during the intro. I saw that somebody got timed out, so I clicked on their message to see what it said, and I laughed because I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I can see it." <laughs> <laughs> Welcome yeah. to the Northern My Live Super Show. It's the Monday, March eighteenth, two thousand nineteen edition. I, as always, am your host, Northern Lion, uh, joined by recurring Monday talent Michael A. L. Fox and Jay Smith O. T. I. Hello. I prefer recurring Monday best friends. Okay, sure. But I want to, I want to know I'm talented too. Like I know I'm his friend. Yeah, but, but you're he not. Doesn't talented, always say we're talented. So you're Usually more of his friend than you are talented. That's not necessarily true, though. I'm really. It's, talented. You're right. It's damn true. You know, no, like Dan they say, damn true. Ninety percent of talent is is mostly just showing up, and uh, mm -hmm. here you guys are. There we go. And I barely do that. So we're going to play <laughs> <laughs> We're going to play the Golf Club 2019. Then we're going to play Half Dead 2. If you don't if you don't remember Half Dead 1, it was the game based on Cube where you open a door and then you throw your shoe into the room and then sometimes your shoe gets electrocuted and sometimes it doesn't. And then you run out of shoes and you start to throw yourself into the room and sometimes you get dissolved by acid. I don't even know what the the second one is like it you can fight each other now really yeah it's, it has like the culling style combat where i don't know maybe you could like take somebody else's shoes if they won't give them to you <laughs> i'll take your shoes it dude it has 88 percent positive reviews on steam that, that's a, i don't even know what to say i'm that's stunned. pretty good that doesn't them, make any damn sense then we're gonna play three person slap shot us against the world we're taking them down, Absolutely. everyone. Josh hasn't played it yet, and he's American, so he's at a disadvantage. But mm -hmm. I don't know. What if he's like Johnny Gaudreau? More like Johnny Good. No, actually, uh, he's amazing. Yeah, he's quite good. It bothers me a little bit. How good? I'm he here here to have fun. I'm trying to manage my party, but I, my controller doesn't work for this game sometimes. So I'm gonna invite you all mm. to the game. Plus, Austin normally does that, right? He does normally do that. I don't see any of you guys online, by the way. I'm online. You're not online. I'm not online? No, you're not online. I'm online. I see you guys online. Or, sorry, I yeah, see, we every, are online. I see everybody correct. online but you guys, is what I mean to I say. see Call Me Lenny, Bad at Games, which is what I named Mouth. <laughs> and I got, like, oh, there you go. See, oh, now I'm you're back. both in see, golf you, club. You know, see? I hate to say it, but you were right, dude. I know. It hurts, but it's true. Hey, dude, I, don't worry about I it. I was looking, though. I was looking through, like, my friends list, and I have somebody that's named uh, Gave Josh Dota 2. Really? <laughs> that, that's their existence to me, is they gave Josh a code for Dota 2, so I gave him a little marker. So I was Wow! Like, <laughs> Wait, how do you give someone Dota 2? That was back when you needed a beta code to play Dota. <gasps> oh, shit. That's crazy. Is it? Give them VIP. How do you give someone VIP? What is you that? You go slash VIP and then type their name. Oh yeah. I mean, if you wanted the in-game party you leader, make your make whole join. chat VIP if you wanted. Create private match. Join but private. Then nobody's no, VIP. Don't don't worry about it yet. Just go ahead okay. and now now join private. Join party now, match. Yeah. I th I hope that's what I did. Oh, you can only have two hundred VIPs. I Dude, don't... Josh! <laughs> That's so good. You look I don't know so, so cool yeah. now. Thanks, man. You Dude, think I look good? You got a fish pants and a skull but and crossbones, but the crossbones are golf clubs? Uh-huh. That's sick, dude. I don't know why my guy got reset. Yeah, that's true. You used to be a weird red-haired dude. <laughs> now you're just a regular old weird dude. Mm -hmm. Regular dude. I'm retired. Yeah, you I'm do just look trying like to get a trials character. Yeah, I'm just trying to get you know in your guys' head. So like when I'm at the plate, you guys are like, "Oh shit, I can't pitch to this guy. Mm. He's scaring me." Oh wait, that's a different game. This is that's golf. baseball. Yeah. Oh, uh, then I have no excuse, dude. That would be sick if you could get walked on a golf course. So you just get, <laughs> you can't get a birdie, but you just get par. <laughs> the course is like, I don't want to pitch to this guy. He's got a 380 yeah. yard drive. Yeah, but like you get to start like halfway through. Just great today. My Dude, name's John. It, when I said well, sick, I meant, the by the way, that it would ruin the sport today, completely. But 
down. Who gives a shit, really? How do I you, mean, like, I, people. I think my like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, Josh, what'd you do? What happened? It's static crack. Can I can I ask you how you play this game on keyboard and mouse? Like, how do you how do you? I don't know because Q, I need to do that now. Q to get an overhead. Nope. And to. Nope. That's that's incorrect. To like. No, my controller is. That's all what I'm pressing. Funky. I'm... I don't, Ryan. I don't know what to do. Are you having the same thing? Yeah. I went to settings. Settings. Change my default controller to keyboard and Ooh. mouse. Controls. Those. I. Default controller. Mouse and keyboard. All right. I'll die. You know what? I'm I'm quitting the game. We're gonna do it again. I'm sorry right. to do it, but oh. literally it doesn't work at okay. all, dude. It's yeah, fine. my controller wasn't working. You're okay. So you gotta plug it in. You guys have that uh, that ad in the U.S. Plug it in, plug it in. That's Glade. Glade plugins, dude. So like, my controller, it, I it's the first time I took it out of its socket this weekend. Um, you really call it a socket, huh? Well, I mean, what do you call a usbum holder? A usbum holder? Usbum USB. <laughs> oh. Um, um, I call it a port. Oh, yeah, okay, so this is the first time in a long time I took my Xbox controller out of my port. Um, and now, today, when I plug it into my Usbum port, mm -hmm. um, it goes doo 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 doo, like it unplugs. Right. Yeah. And then, like, goes doo 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 doo, when it, like, but like, it's still plugged in, so it goes, it keeps doing it like over and over again. Doo 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 doo. Mm, you have a Windows related issue. Perhaps. All right, I, I'm sending you both invites again. Dude, I don't know. This controller, I know is ridiculous, but this controller has not been the same since the time it fell off my desk playing the Culling 2. That's the <laughs> the company uh, Zavi and Today announced that they're they're taking the Culling 1 servers offline because they they're not hitting the revenue share that they need to hit in order to keep the game going. I will never forget about them because I'm still saddled with this derelict controller not necessarily directly as a result of their game but like kind of so my controller like i can navigate the settings with my controller now so oh, that's good there you go join up by the way join up join up i just want to make sure that oh fuck it let me just join up on you buy a new one well yeah, maybe i'll just buy a y'all gotta buy two joy cons already because i keep getting uh, Mad Cats during uh, Tetris 99, and now I gotta buy a new freaking uh, Xbox One controller, too, because of the culling, too. This is still an Xbox 360 controller that I wow, use. Wow, dude. Same. I know. I, uh, I played, like, the Switch for, like, the first time, like, this weekend. For the first time? I think it was the first time. Mm. This got some bad controllers. Connection you... has been lost. Oh, try it. Try again. Like those Joy Cons are just bad. They don't feel good. Uh, they handle like dog shit. Well, it depends what you're what you're doing with them. I think. I'm playing Smash. You you're not supposed to play Smash on the Joy Con. Dude, I someone wanted me to play Smash on the Joy Con. I tried it out. And it wasn't very good. Also, Ultimate Chicken Horse. I played it on on that controller on the Joy Con. I'm not a big fan of it. Well, it was bad. It's not the ideal way to play but if you slot the joy cons into that plastic holster that comes with the the mm. switch i think it's a it, functional controller honestly it wasn't my switch it was it was a party switch mm. what does that mean <laughs> it was like someone brought the switch to play video games with other people oh the bachelor party yeah oh. it was my bachelor party. how was that it was really fun thank you for asking how was your weekend, Josh? Yo, it was a good weekend. That's my line. How was your weekend, Josh? <laughs> it was a good weekend. We wait. We went out to the um, it seemed like Seven Springs, which is like a ski town place. Um, but we didn't stay at like the ski town place. We just did an Airbnb out there. Mm. So there's probably around like I don't know, 10, 12 of us uh, drinking in the woods and playing video games and board games. It was really fun. What kind Shirts of board on games? Or off. Don't, uh, we played we played this card. I I can't get this thing to work. Did you play the cones of Dunshire? I wish we played a game called I called it Matchem, but it, the game wasn't actually called Matchem. I think it's called like Pairs or something like that. But I couldn't remember. You talking about game, Go Fish? Game. No, but it's <laughs> it a game. It sounds so a little like, bit like Go Fish. 
I literally I can't play this game. Uh, this... Wait, why? hold on. I could just all right. I could just do it on my mouse then. Dude, yeah, mouse and keyboard. I well, use mouse and keyboard. It's better. Yeah, but that's also cheating. It is. It's gonna so, take you a minute to get used to it, but that's okay. Nice. So pairs uh, or match them if you're me. It's actually a pretty cool game. So it's a card game, and all the cards are just like a picture, and it has like a, a number on them. So there's no like face cards or nothing like that. So yeah. it's one through ten. There's one one, two two, three threes, so on and so on until you get to ten. And what you do is, hold on, you got to drive the ball very far. Um, and what you do is you have to not pair your card with any other card that you pull from the deck. So if you, if like I have like if I have like a two, I want any other card in the deck that's not a two. But the chances of getting another two are very low, so you want to keep trying to not get a two. I understand. Yeah. But it's like that, and you just play until like someone loses, and that's fun. Cards, dude. Cards, dude. I haven't played just cards in probably... Like, we used to play every lunch hour. We would play either Euchre or Crazy Eights. You play Crazy Eights dude. and Euchre. So, like, it's like... it's There's a very okay, wide swath of, like, you being... Eight and you being eighty five. Well, dude, euchre is a great game. For there's like actually strategy for 80, involved. Eighty year old euchre, euchre is fine, dude. Crazy <laughs> eight yeah. sucks. That's just no. like I mean, it's just it's mindless, which is fine. I like asshole or president or whatever. I forgot dude. about that. Yeah, I haven't played that since uh, high school. Since high school, for sure. Yeah. Where you if you get the certain cards make you the asshole or the president. Yeah. I don't even remember, honestly. I know I don't remember the rules, but I remember like I was addicted to it. I it's like lunchtime, let's like go, let's eat some food, play some asshole. It was a great <laughs> Cheer time. on the oh, Edmonton Oilers off. and the Stanley <laughs> Cup playoffs. Mouth. So did you cheer on the Edmonton Oilers this weekend? Uh I actually was rooting for them last night. Yeah, I mean, I generally, I still like, I do feel um, bad for Connor David. In general, I don't care for the Oilers at all, but um, why? Well, because whatever, it's you know, oh, oil country, blah blah blah. It's like, <laughs> you don't like oil? Not really. It's pretty. You bad. hate it? Pretty. It's done some nasty things to the world. Yeah, yeah but think well, about all the dinosaurs that were assholes, anyways. On your desk right now. Would you drive an electric car? No, I don't. I don't have one. Oh, well, I mean, wow. I would maybe if, but I'd be mm. fine just taking public transit. That's you fair. think you're so cool <laughs> with your mom public cool. transit. Your mom doesn't think you're that cool. She thinks she so. probably he does, does think he's cool. Yeah, yeah but like he lives in the big city. He he streams on this new platform called Twitch TV. No, she's TV. honestly she's most impressed by um, the fact that I have like shirts with designs that I commissioned. Really? So I was like, yeah. She every time there's anybody and uh, over and I'll, I'm visiting as well. I usually like I'll have a shirt that I pack um, just because it's comfy to be around in. And she'd be like, Mikey, Mikey, go up, go go upstairs, get your you're pushing up Daisy shirt. I, I, I want to show them. <laughs> oh, no, I love that. It's it's I mean, it's it's awesome that she likes it, um, but it's also Oh, she likes it. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What? I mean, she she has four kids. She must have liked it. Yeah, I'm sure. Let's stop this right <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many of like uh, <clears throat> my parents, friends, kids have copies of Grey's Anatomy that are signed by me. This is, really? My mom sometimes would just be like, "Hey, you know, like our neighbors, like their kids don't really like know who you are, but they're into this whole YouTube thing. Can you like give them a souvenir?" And then I just look over at my uh, bookshelf, and there's like twenty boxed PC copies of Grey's Anatomy, and I just <laughs> oh sign it, and God. I'm like, <laughs> "Like, hey." You know, Joe, have a nice life. Northern Lion. <laughs> Just send it off in the mail. Oh send it. <laughs> That's really good. That's pretty good. I like that a lot. 
I'm mad weird, that you dude. didn't get me one of those. Oh, you want one? I can bring yeah. one. Can you bring one for me, I please? still probably I have like four or five box copies of Grey's Anatomy. If you can bring that or a signed Kiati Mundi that you didn't throw away yet. I'm sorry I would... to say the Kiati <laughs> Mundi's <laughs> might not be signable at this point. <laughs> you have to go take them out of the garbage. I don't bowl. know. Go dig around in the landfill for them, basically. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> don't I want to sell them as merch like... Uh, Lucas Arts or Disney will sue me into the freaking stratosphere. It's all on eBay. <laughs> That's Keep actually fair that enough. Mm. I, I don't really have a good argument, except for the fact that I don't know. Like people, I don't know if you live in like the American Midwest and you have a thirty-five hundred square foot house. People are always like, "Why would you throw them out? That's ungrateful." I live in a six hundred square foot apartment, so people have sent me like three foot tall. Kiati Mundis and like full sized replica katanas and shit like that. There's no room. <laughs> Stop sending the them to me. I'm putting them in the garbage. That's art. <laughs> There's no room. There's always room for mustard. Oh, mustard. <laughs> I know you like mustard. Mel. When you said, you know, we got sent uh, some coffee. That's cool. I'm consuming it right now. We got sent, you know, some shirts and some heartfelt letters and stuff like that. Blu-rays, you know, that's always nice. But, like, things that are actually large, no thank you. Hmm. So if someone, what if someone sent you, like, pogs? I would definitely toss them in the garbage. Like, if, what if it was, like, one pog? One, I would even more so throw a single pog <laughs> in the garbage. That's no, not even like a collection. Me. Like I'm gonna just gonna display it, and then I'll have people. <laughs> oh yeah, this is my pog that somebody sent me. I still have all my old pogs, dude. Those things are gonna be. Don't working. give them to Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely do not give them to me. Just keep them. Oh yeah, that's the plan. I've held on. I don't to want them, them, dude. This long, I might as well just, you know, cash in someday. Maybe. What kind of slammer you got? Definitely gonna be worth money. Oh, I got this really cool slammer. It's an actual piece of metal that's cut to look like um well, like a saw. A uh, a saw. Yeah, this, dude. Yeah, circular saw. Does it and have a skull the, in this, the center? No, uh, the sticker. It's like the international symbol for man. And okay. And I was yeah. like, this is peak peak alpha. So that was <laughs> yeah. that was the one I always used to dunk on kids. Cause, there you go. Yeah. I was talking to. Uh, one of my friends this weekend and we were on the car ride out to the the cabin we were just talking about car, uh, pogs for whatever reason and he used to say you know like those custom pogs that you can make you can make your own pogs yeah. or whatever and just he printed out like boobs from like online this is like back in like the <laughs> two, like, early 2000s so like he had like just jpeg boobs that he put on pogs and he had like a bunch of them until like one day his teacher found them oh no and, like okay. during class Holy and he tried to blame it on like his neighbor that no one liked <laughs> but the teacher like by his story he's like the teacher looked at him he's like no you're you're going into, into detention and so he got in trouble from it and that was funny nice wow. i'll give you three guesses who it was uh zach no ray oh okay. no Flint. i don't Flint. hang out with ray <laughs> yes yes fox <laughs> who is it it was oh, of course. Yeah, obviously. That makes perfect Difficult. sense. But yeah, Difficult. he said like the one that the teacher found was just all it was is just like a, a titty. And that was it. It wasn't like <laughs> a pair of boobs. It was just a lone like nipple of a boob on his pog. Dude, that makes uh, me feel very strange things because I had that device. I can still picture it to this day. Dude, but, let's bust it out. Let's. Well, I don't have it anymore, pogs. but I Aww. used it to make pogs that had like pictures of my grandparents on them. Oh no! What? <laughs> so I would. We had like all these Polaroids of like you know my grandparents, and I'd be like, "Yeah, I'll have a pog of my grandpa, whatever." And then take it to school and <laughs> put it in the stack. People are like, "What the hell's that?" Yeah, I don't want to win this pog. <laughs> yeah, get this pog out of here. That's how you won all the games. Yeah, people didn't oh. seem to. It wasn't in high demand, All right. despite no, being not. one of a kind. You know, <laughs> it had sentimental value. Another thing I had sentimental value. I had uh, WWF. Uh, and if this drops, that's your bogey. 
What was I going to say? I had WWF slammers. Oh, and uh, one kid was like, let's play for your WWF Ted Diabasi slammer. And I had to oh, choose, shit. do I want to put up the Ted Diabasi or do I want to put up the uh, Mr. Perfect slammer? I put up the Ted Diabasi. He, this is like second grade. He beat me. And then uh, I like I didn't cry, but I felt my face get like really hot. And I was yeah, like, you just I lost the million dollar man, you piece of trash. This is the same kid, and I know you're like it's the same story. It's not the same story, but it's the same kid. We played Crazy Bones like four years later at uh, recess, and then I knocked over his Crazy Bone, and the bell rang. And he just picked up his crazy bone and my crazy bone and ran. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's sweet. I hate that you guy. You had that. You had it coming. I did not have it coming. I beat you him fair and square. You absolutely had it coming. <laughs> you had it coming. I never got any crazy bones. I never or got any. You were missing bad. out. I don't what? Like, like what? Like, how do you play crazy bones? You Explain just, to me. You, you, so you sit like across from one another, maybe with yes. like two feet between you. And okay. then you stand up your crazy bone, yeah. and then you take turns throwing other crazy bones at their crazy bone. If you knock it over, you get to keep it. Or you can make like, some other rules, but, you know. Okay. That's basically it. Huh. So it's like marbles. Yeah, it's similar to marbles. Okay. It's well, gotcha. really, back in the day, like it sounds stupid now, but back then it was like the sport of kings. No, that's that's not true. It never was. It is. It you were there was like power rankings and stuff, and like you, there's an element of like uh, of betting too, because you're like, yo, I don't want to put up like Jaws. Jaws is like the seventh. I'm you. You want to play me for my smiley? That's number two in series one. Crazy Bone. Absolutely not. So what'd you do with the ones that you wanted? Well, I, I bought some on eBay back in the day. Yeah, so you just get like the gar like so all you're doing is just playing like garbage crazy bones. You don't even get to use your your favorites. Well, I had a name. Like, what'd you do with your favorite? Like, oh, Smiley. I don't want to use my si Smiley, so I'm just gonna set them on my all desk. All I know and here's it, to it them. doesn't matter well, what I'm I. It's not smiling. all about commodities, okay? It's yeah, like I have happy I memories. I remember what was the best day of my life until I don't know some later point. It was 1998 or 1999. I went to Toys R Us. Mm -hmm. Two things happened. I bought a Series 1 Crazy Bone kit, and I got yep. Smiley, the most valuable mm -hmm. Crazy Bone I own. It wasn't as oh, valuable as uh, Music, which was the first one, of course. And then, but it was still pretty good, I bought the Wild Wild West soundtrack the same day. <laughs> and I was like, this is, this is living, dude. You're in hog heaven right there. <laughs> I can imagine a worse life. Dude, it was amazing. I, I had a similar day. I remember quite vividly where uh, uh, we went to in uh, Kingston. I don't know if you ever went there. It was like Nomax. You lived there. It was called what? Nomax. Nomax. Oh, dude, like Nomax. That. Yeah, the, the, yeah. There was a really, really cool guy who owned the store, and if you could beat <laughs> his deck in Pokemon, he would give you one of his Charizards. Huh. Yeah, I, I never bothered with that, but I always went there to... <laughs> <laughs> I was there that fucking lame, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would buy card Pokemon cards every once in a while, and that was the day I bought two packs of Pokemon cards, and then we were going to my dad's friend's place to hang out, and on the car ride, I opened up one, it was a Blastoise, I opened up the second one, it was a Venusaur, and I was like, what are the odds? That is and, a great, you didn't even get, what, what do they normally have, like high potions or something? Or a trainer that was the yeah, the oh, rare card. That. You're like, yeah. oh, I wonder what legendary Pokemon I'm gonna get. Trainer, yeah, beautiful Trainer energy, sucks. yeah, incredible. Oops. But then, yeah, a few years later, I went to like sell all my Pokemon cards to them, and mm -hmm. then he was like, no, I don't want them. And I, was like, <laughs> I, don't I was I was livid. I was like, you didn't even look at them. <laughs> and I was like, you're missing out. I had a Blastoise and a Venusaur. And then I just ran out. And I, he did like that that Ross thing that on Friends where he just like clicked his fingers or his fists together and then he left. No, the elbows. Right? Oh, this is his elbows? We were no, on I think his wrists. Maybe. It was, oh, fists. I think it was both. They had multiple. Yeah? Maybe. Yeah. I think yeah. it was just his fists. Like no, you there's one where they, they put that. 
hands behind the head and then they kind of like. I don't remember that one. I'm pretty sure. I don't. I don't know about that. No. Well, I mean, you guys seem to know quite a lot about Friends. I've you seen don't? Many times. I mean, I'd, I'd probably watch the whole run, you know, when it aired. Okay, that's cool. Tell me more. Well, I mean, that's basically it. it just I don't. No, know. I want to know more about it. Apparently, you guys have kept up, and it refreshed your memory every couple of years. I, I actually did watch through it again, like, within the past couple of years. As well. uh, yeah. It was on Netflix. It is on Netflix. No. Nice. Like, I'm more of a Seinfeld uh, guy. I, why not both? So well, I've probably <laughs> seen equal amount of episodes of Friends and Seinfeld. Really? Yeah. Maybe more Friends. I'd say I'm a little bit more Seinfeld, but still, I've I've seen I've seen okay, a lot of Friends. Green, Who's your favorite Seinfeld? It you know it used to change a lot, but I mean ultimately I think it's got to be Costanza. Yeah, I'm with it, you. Is, but I I literally yeah. said, "Who's your favorite was, Seinfeld?" Oh. and then you. Said Costanza. I don't oh, understand. Then it's uh, uh, George. <laughs> George Seinfeld. George Seinfeld. <laughs> oh boy, you guys crack me up. Oh, who's your favorite Seinfeld character? Jerry. Oh, really? No character. Jerry's yeah. fine. He's a necessary he's okay. character because yeah. he's got to be the the one straight man. You know, that's like. Is what he? you're doing is crazy. And they're like, well, you don't know, Jerry. That's basically like Jerry's role in the whole show. Yeah. I don't know. He's got some some own his own things that he's like weird about, right? Well, like I like Kramer, mm. but sometimes he's especially towards the end of the show, Kramer is like poochy. Like he just What's busts in and is like, Jerry, do you got bandages? I cut my dick off with a pair of scissors. Yeah. And then Jerry's <laughs> like, ah, not again, Cosmo. But like uh George is just, he's like the perfect amount of like twisted and depraved the whole time. Yeah, he, yeah. If, if Jerry's on the one end of the spectrum and Kramer's on the other, Elaine and George are kind of. I thought Jerry the was the straight man, so he has to be neutral. Mm. That's what Ryan said. He's on the spectrum. No, well, of when I say at the one end of the spectrum, I mean more of like. Yeah, I, like then a, he meant the, something the, the not neutral, like that. The neutral, <laughs> and then it, and the other end is just like it increases like in that. craziness. When I said when I was talking about the spectrum, I didn't mean a spectrum as you know normal people come to mm. know it. <laughs> but the opposite. <laughs> you know what's wild though is like watching Seinfeld now and not being, uh, not assuming that that's what adults everywhere. Are like anymore because I am an adult. Like some of the plots of that show, they really, I mean, I get that it's fiction, but like the the petty things that Jerry would like break up with someone for are nonsensical. It would be like, hey, how was your date with Carol last night? Well, she's a loud chewer. And, oh, I know what that's like, a loud chewer. <laughs> Jerry, you got to get yourself out of that without having a conversation <laughs> with her somehow. Do you have to chew so loudly? Huh. Like it, it just. Nowadays, I feel like if you made that show, people would be like, dude, just fucking get over it. She choose yeah. loudly, whatever, dude. You should just be thankful it... she has a job. <laughs> In this economy? Yeah, I mean, I guess so, but people still watch you. <laughs> you're telling me, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I feel like you're just one step away from Seinfeld. Yeah, but I'm not on the half hour a week. I'm on like 30 hours a week. That is a lot of Seinfeld. I know, dude. When I complain about dumb shit and people are like, it's not that big of a deal. I'm like, no, ki <laughs> like, no I kidding, dude. Complain but about I dumb <laughs> shit for 30 hours a fucking week. I had six more Isaac episodes to record this week. And I'm like, I don't really like the fruits that have the hair on the outside of them. I'd really just, why can't we just breed smooth peaches that don't have fur on the outside? We can make them seedless. We can't make them hairless. What's up with that? All right, thank you very much for yeah. my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I um we play oh. beer pong this weekend, and the 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 pong balls, they reminded me of peaches. They had this. <laughs> I thought you were gonna to say them. they reminded you of me. No, <laughs> they just remind you say that. But like I thought, like I was going crazy. I was like, why do these feel fuzzy? 
and, mm. I, and like everyone is like, no wait, Josh, you're on to something. They've they've got a texture like it was a peach, or at least that's what they told me. But they they could have lied because it was my weekend, really. What are we doing? Do I favorite this course now? No, or come, I in, come into this game again. Join a party match. Hold tab. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Holding in tab. Chat, you didn't see that. That's one of my go-to passwords for golf club. Honker123. <laughs> <laughs> I never have to put in a password. Yeah, because I, I make it uh, not private. Oh, okay. Hmm. I can't remember the last time I played like a, a drinking game. Uh, it was probably like deck Jan, yeah, <laughs> like six years ago. Or like we five play, years like ago. even like the drinking games that we play. Like we're all thirty. Like we were, we did like a count, and it's like there's no one under the age of thirty at this fucking yeah. party. We're old. Well, that's so like, like but beer like, pong to me just seems like unhygienic now. But I mean, we just we fill the cups with water, so no one's actually drinking from the gross beer cups. Oh, and then what? Do you, and like, you no, land it in your cup, you just take a little sip of the. Sip. Exactly. You take a sip of your beer. Or not. Like, no one's fucking counting and, like, <laughs> you know, making sure that you're drinking the, the beer from it. I mean, I'm not going to say that that's lame. It just seems like you're kind of miss... Like, I don't think beer pong is, like, that cool of a game. Minus it's just a fun, the alcohol fun part, you know? It's a fun game. Also, my, my game decided to use my Hello. Xbox controller Dude, now, same so. here. Really? Right, yeah. Why? Dude, I don't know. Couldn't tell you. There's a nice pot for you. Me neither. Me neither. But I guess that's that's my life now. But I like I like beer. It's it's a fun it it it's an activity that gets you up and moving around, and yeah, it's exercise. It's, it's joyful. It's not exercise, but like at least you're not like sitting on the couch, you know, eating. talking talking yeah i mean you could, you could stand up and talk to your peers and your brother and loved ones oh frick i like uh what's that one waterfall queens kings aces or something of all the drinking games we uh we ever played I waterfall that... is definitely or not waterfall uh boat race is definitely the one that Horse stretches race. the limit of the of the word game it was literally like boat, boat race was literally just like hey there's like four of you and uh, whoever drinks your beer the fastest doesn't lose. <laughs> so have awesome. fun, everybody. You're like, oh, man, I can't wait to play Boat Race. That's a good one. <laughs> Fucking tell me more about this game. You've never done how... Boat Race? You've never done it? No, you have, you have, I've never You have a table. You got four people on each side, and it's like a relay race, right? So okay. the person At least... on, like, wow. one far side starts, and when they finish and put down their cup, the person on their left starts. And the team that finishes first wins. And what do okay. they win? I don't know. They so won. It's, Why are you being it's a, like, you a cop or something? It's like flip cup instead of. Yeah, but you don't flip. You, cup, it, you don't, you it's a variant. It's a flip that. cup variant where you don't flip the cup. That's fucking awesome. I do like flipping cups though. So. Dude, me too. <laughs> me too. That's really good. <laughs> I want to play that so bad. I, I've, I've played enough for one life, I think. Yeah, probably. Oh, King's Cup. That's the way you call it. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, you know, you, you play Kings and then every King, the first nice. three Kings, people pour a little bit of their drink in the cup. You end yeah. up with a weird, like, warm beer, straight, you know, Bell's scotch, and then somebody's drinking, like, you know, Bailey's mixed with a milkshake. And then yeah. the fourth person <laughs> has to chug the whole thing. And the mm -hmm. Bailey's is all, like, curdled at the top. And yeah. Yeah. That's the good stuff. That's, yeah, that's, is. <laughs> that's the good that stuff. That is the good stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mouth, oh, my. Mouth pours a little <laughs> bit of his Palm Bay. Dude, you know what? <laughs> it's not stupid and it works. It isn't stupid. <laughs> There's always oh, a Bailey's guy. And after that one, you're the Bailey's guy was also the guy who showed up at our house one time in college, and he said, check it out, guys. I got a Heineken Drot keg. And Drot. We went, when, what's a draught? And he goes, you know, like, draught beer? And went, oh, I get <laughs> oh, it. No. It's draft, by the way. It, it is draft. I can't believe you didn't know that, Mal. I've... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're right around 120. Yeah, I'm just, you know. Ryan. Yeah. How was your weekend? Dude. Um, 
it was pretty low key. Like the weather was nice here um, for the first time since probably like October or November. Nice. So okay. Kate and I, we went, you know, a long walk, various Vancouver neighborhoods, uh, which okay. was nice, you know, had a, had a good brunch and, you know, did some shopping, came back, what? watched the Australian Grand Prix in Formula One and played a bunch of Tetris, basically. What did you have for brunch? I had a wild salmon po' boy. Sounds dumb. So it was a it was a breaded and fried salmon fillet on a on some French bread with like dill pickles and I don't know, some kind of greens. I don't know what it might have been arugula. Fried salmon? It, I, it's weird, right? Okay. It, it was. I expected it to not be breaded and fried salmon because it's unusual, but it was good. I was gonna say, like, if you're having a po' boy, it's got to like. I understand, like, if you put on a po' boy, it should be breaded and fried. Yeah. yeah. But I've never ever heard of bread and fried salmon before. Welcome to the West Coast, brother. It's fucked up, man. It's not fucked no. up. It's just different, it's, you know. I just told you it was They're fucked up. It's not so. really. I mean, you don't live in the. You don't live uh, in Cajun country, so you don't get to yeah. tell me it's fucked up. I'm. I'm just telling you when right now. When you can now, go down to the bayou my... and get a two dollar and fifty cent po' boy, you can tell me we're doing it wrong up the here. The way that I'm looking at it, it's fucked up. Doesn't seem fucked up to me. It's, <laughs> oh, it's it's absolutely. Look, when I want to, when I get some hipster scrapple. You can talk to me about that. Oh, never... that. You use chunky peanut butter in the scrapple. You're supposed to use smooth. Wait, what's scrapple? I, you told me, but I know we've been through this before. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a meat product of some sort. <gasps> I see... That'll keep you at two under for the round. Mouth, you okay? Dude, yeah. I, I just thought of something I've never seen before. Did you say you thought of something that you've never seen before? Yes. Okay, tell me. So it's like meatballs, yep. but then you also batter and deep fry them. Mm. That sounds all right. It sounds That's sounds good. nice, honestly. All right, I'll I'll check this out, Malf. It's a meatloaf, sliced yep. into a, you know a slice of meatloaf. Yeah. Batter and fry that. Throw it on a sandwich. Oh, dude, that sounds right good too. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Meatloaf is under respected. It totally I, is. Milo's dude, well, I, fucking awesome. I did the, I yeah, I did a cooking stream like a while back and make a meatloaf, and it's the best thing because it's awesome when you make it, and then when you have it left over, you're just like, Doing all right this throw it on some bread or bone, whatever. You got bread or bone? Did he say bread or bone? I I heard bun. bread or bone. You're gonna put the meatloaf on bread, or you bread can put your meatloaf on bone. Yeah, suck it off the bone. Suck what off what bone? Meatloaf doesn't have meat. <laughs> I don't think you want me to answer that question. I, I think I said bun. Maybe I said bone. I oh, <laughs> maybe. Maybe you did say that. I don't know. All right. That would make more sense. Yeah. I don't think I've ever made a meatloaf before. No, me it's, neither. I, I, I mean, to, I'm going to say it, and some people might disagree with me, but you're actually wrong. It is quite easy to make a meatloaf. Oh, it's I'm sure ground, it is. Ground meat, onions, onions and spices, right? Bread, bread, bread crumbs, crumbs yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can... It's you a can, meatball, but it's a loaf of meatball. That's true. Basically, yeah. I mean, the only... You don't even need, like, a pan for it. You could just... You got you get the you bread pan. do without a pan? You can just like, kind of make it into a mound... And then uh, <laughs> just put it right on the rack. I, I'm not a, you know, like it's more a like a meat pile at that like point, a cookie, isn't it? A cookie like, tray. I'm just saying that's not ideal. I, but I'm also saying, you know, you can make it work. <laughs> you meant just like, just like put it on a stick and then fry it over the burner. No, you get, get, get a cookie tray, baking oh tray. God, that's really good. <laughs> I ate a lot of bad meatloaf growing up, but it, it took me a while. I was at a restaurant like a year ago, and I was like, oh, the meatloaf. And I was like, this is delicious. All right, it's, it's yeah. It's yeah. just like a big bunless hamburger with more sauce. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think like the one thing is a, a lot of places uh, or people, whatever, it, it can be overcooked, right? Mm. I feel like if you're... If you're a restaurant and you put meatloaf on the menu, you've yeah. got to be pretty damn certain that's good meatloaf. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? That makes perfect sense, actually. Nobody's going to the restaurant, like, angling for meatloaf. 
That's a game yeah. time decision. Exactly. There's a uh, the place that we're doing our rehearsal dinner at. Uh, well, we, I, we went I, there I, to, like, before test you it even out. say it. Go ahead. What, how many times have you eaten before in your life? Why do you need to rehearse that? Oh, it's it's so the day before. Are you are you getting me? Like, are you? This is a are, is, is this a gag every, question. Or you don't know what a rehearsal is. Isn't every dinner a rehearsal dinner for the next one? I just don't understand. Yeah, but for Why the sake of the people that may do not you know need what a to rehearse dinner, <laughs> the right. dance I get. I hate it. Okay, so a rehearsal dinner. You the know what the most fun thing to rehearse is, is the wedding night. The day prior to the wedding. Uh, the, 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 the wedding party, which is the bridegroom and anyone who has the role in the wedding itself, they go to the church or wherever and rehearse the wedding. Yeah. Like, what do you so, do? Step like, by step. You, you choose at this time. And then <laughs> afterwards, <laughs> afterwards, you go to a restaurant and have whatever you don't have to practice eating at the restaurant you just Wait, eat really yeah. Oh, yeah so you like rehearse the dinner and then you all go out no you eat. rehearse the, you rehearse the ceremony and then you go eat dinner so it's it's, it's rehearsal like comma dinner you were we're going to the rehearsal and then we're going to dinner okay honestly i did not think that's what it was <laughs> really? Tell me, tell me I, what you I thought. thought you ate, and then they go, and then someone will get up and go, ting, ting, ting. And they'll tell a modestly embarrassing, but, you know, a, a story that doesn't besmirch your character, and then they'll loop it back around to, but then he met you, and then it all changed, and blah, blah. And no, no, that's. Aww. You're going to hear Zach do that at the wedding. Yeah. That's the best man speech, and the maid of honor speech. Mm. At the rehearsal dinner, I think that I'm supposed to give a speech. Really? Yes, you give a speech. Oh, yeah. I love you so much, babe. Mm. Yeah, um, that's exact. I'm going to look Kristen right in her eyes and say, I love you so much, babe. And then I'm going to do mouth kissy faces. And then she'll be like, yeah, babe. <laughs> yeah. And then she'll be like, you should just got mouth here. Yeah, exactly. I'll walk up right up and we'll make out. <laughs> All right. Do you have to rehearse the speech you make at the rehearsal dinner? Uh, I don't know. I probably should. Um, what's the industry like for that? I don't Do you know. have like a, a rehearsal brunch? I ain't, maybe par. sign me up. <laughs> That'd be fun. Yeah. Eighth hole coming up. That'd be here. fun. So, uh, take your best shot. <laughs> I don't. I guess I should practice or even think of a, a speech. I feel like I could wing that. Yeah, though. just I mean, you, you only do it once in your life. Why, it, why put in any extra all, effort into it? All you do oh, is shit. That's a good you point. think of the talking points. That's it. You don't need to. Hope this one bites. You just like thank memorize. everyone. Hey, everyone. Thanks for being here. Ended up nice and, safe. Still and that's it. And then you sit down and, and start eating. Do, right? Does the wedding, the, the, the bride and groom, do they pay for the rehearsal dinner? Yes. Really? Yes. Man, Dude. once they stick you, you don't stop bleeding, huh? Dude, yeah, it, it's, it's, it keeps going. Nicely oh, done frick. with the long it Keeps going. Hot. You get see here's what you do since they're paying you get surf and turf with the side of lobster. I we're think doing, you should choose oh. surf or turf. Anyway, so the place that we're doing but the only rehearsal people dinner that are groomsmen <laughs> or bridesmaids can get the a ampersand. <laughs> they're the ampersand class. Everybody else you choose either surf or turf. Let's see mm. another one. We're just doing meatloaf. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the place <laughs> no, the, the place that we're doing it at, uh, the when we went to go test it out to see if they had good food, well, I you had, had to rehearse it was amazing. the rehearsal dinner? What? This is madness, dude. No, what? I We wanted to you see. You had to what try we out the place that the rehearsal dinner is at? Absolutely. It you don't never want to ends, man. <laughs> well, what do you expect? <laughs> Lobster? <laughs> Dude, you know it, it's a it's a McDonald's. They're consistent <laughs> the, the world over. I know, but it's it's McDonald's on the other side of town, so we had to make sure. All right, sink this pot. Anyway, I I mean I don't I haven't done any of this stuff, so yeah, and you never will. I don't have any friends or siblings, so I've never been part of the the bridal party. 
Oh, you could have asked me. Dude, I don't I was talking about it in Isaac today. I think the greatest gift you've ever gotten me is not making me be part of your <laughs> what it, I don't know what you call the the male side of the bridal party. Groomsman. Grooms I not making me a groomsman. So I was like, you know, it, it's if you asked me, I would have done it, but basically what you did was save me from having to take photos. I think it's very presumptuous you would even no, you got think that I would consider you to be a I'm groomsman. I'm glad, dude, if you didn't, even better. But either way, I was just, as far as I'm concerned, being a groomsman for me is like, I gotta I gotta take photos with you and I gotta match what you're wearing. And we're gonna go out and then the photographer's gonna be like, then pretend you're all, you just told a good joke. And we go, <laughs> That'd be nice. We'd toss a That'd football nice. around or something. I don't know what, what you do. I don't know. I've never done it before. No, that's true, you gotta rehearse. Got her hurts. You gotta test it out. All right, uh, golf speed run. <clears throat> All right, let's do it. Change custom rules. Round length. Put on moon physics. Ooh. They don't. They don't do that. This game sucks. This game does not suck. You suck. It's, it's quite. Yeah, great. it doesn't even have moon physics. Remember when we were gonna do? Uh, we we're gonna do tournaments in Mouth's society every weekend. No. Those yeah. Are, those are the days, dude. Join up. Join I haven't. Up, join up, join up. I haven't checked in in that in a while. Mouse. Oh. You can make societies in the game. I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it still exists. I think. Let's find out. Let's just go. Let's start one real quick. Just what you like... should do, uh, instead of this whole wedding you've been planning for like a year, what you yeah. should do is just do a Caden I did, and mm -hmm. you know make a reservation at a restaurant, and then mm -hmm. show up on the day and be like, "Hey, we got reservations," and they're like, "Oh, we don't have them." And then we were like, "Well, we're gonna get married here anyway." And they were like, "Did That's he even? Cool. Did he even try out the restaurant before? Did he rehearse the restaurant?" I've been there before. Okay, so you did rehearse. It. I haven't been there since, <laughs> but I've been oh, there before. Arizona. It must not have left too good of an impression. You know, the the venue was nice. The food. A was, McDonald's. It's, the it's food all the was same. Fine. Every time you go there. Exactly, dude. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Wait, Just, you got married at the restaurant? Yeah, dude. What do you mean you got married at the restaurant? It's a nice restaurant. There's kind of like a, you know, there's like a. There's an area there that's like you know for, yeah, for private functions and stuff like that. Apparently, they didn't. Write like down sex. our name when we called them and said, "Hey, can we have that area?" But thankfully, it was open anyway. She just got married there. Yeah, just showed up, and got married. Who married you? We had a a, a civic official. What was his name? Uh, is a she? You bigot! Yeah, oh God damn it! The I answer is I don't remember. <laughs> Man, I really. But as we soon did as I ask said, her to I, stay. As soon as I said what was his name, I was like, <laughs> I fucking know what's going to happen next. We asked her if she wanted to stay for lunch, and she was like, nah, I got to go. I was like, okay. okay Why? Two. Well, she came all the way down to the restaurant, and you didn't eat with her? Where do you, where do you live that you can say all the way down to the restaurant? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's not a long journey. Like, How do you know? She probably just took the train, dude. She, you know, she, she arrived by... Helicopter. <laughs> you made her take the train down there, and you didn't even get her to. What eat am I gonna do? Pick her up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be sweet. If you'd good. I don't know how much you bench anymore. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you. His chat will make fun of me. <laughs> Certainly not 150, because uh, he had to take a photo of the thing on the ground Excuse that he me. couldn't move out of the way. I could move it for one, and that was somebody who was deadlifting. <laughs> and uh, I took the photo down there, because that's like the 19th time okay, I've do gone down there, and there's been exactly the same weight on the bar with nobody in the gym. Just some moron finishes doing his workout and is like, should I clean up? Nah, nobody here to keep me honest. I'll just leave it there. Wait, you can't lift the bar? Nothing that I just said had anything to do with that. It only weighs like 30 pounds, Ryan. Yeah, it's like 45 it. pounds. I took the plates off the bar and put the plates away because I'm a, I'm not a sociopath. I bet Robert just throws them out because of paper plates. <laughs> wow. Why does it start you off by like, hey, do you want to hit like a six iron? Shit, I hit the six iron. Nice. Right, really? I did. Oh, oh wow. it's a five wood, but whatever. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. Not nah, actually. But <clears throat> pretty close, dude. Like it's I don't understand golf clubs, and I'm I'm being like thirty percent serious. 
Can't you just use a lighter club and then hit it harder? So it's not about how heavy the club is. It's about the angle the club is. Really? Perfect. Yes. yes. What did you think? He just thought it was. He just thought heavy. it was heavier. Well, I mean, I, I figured like the woods were heavier. I mean, they generally are, but that's also because um, they, you know, more volume on the head, right? Dude, it's... the drivers are lighter than the irons. Yeah. Well, I had yeah, no idea. Yeah, they're pretty much hollow. Yeah, yeah, they're they're super hollow in there. But they're restricted to like a certain size. It's like what are like two hundred sixty cc. Like before you, yeah, before you leave, like to go to the thing, you have to fill your drivers up with helium before you hit. <laughs> I'm. You're laughing. I'm not joking. That's bullshit. It's, Ryan, you tell me a gone... driver's full of helium? Yes. I don't buy it. You have to. All right, go go to your local driving range. It Bring is? your driver, or what you can fuck, borrow. Dude? You can Aren't borrow. Aren't you worried if you hit the ball too hard, then your the hands will explode? No, no. that's it, it's reinforced. That's yeah. why they have like drills hold into them. Carbon fiber shaft. It's got flex, all that kind of stuff. So, dude, that's how the Hindenburg went down. Nice. Yeah. Well, until you start yeah. sailing off and all to never the, land in your the driver, haters. you let me know if it's gonna combust with you <laughs> riding in it. Dude, I didn't know there was such complicated golf science, dude. How do you think Tiger Woods got his PhD? Dude, he's ripped. All right, you're on the green. Yeah. Got a lot of work to do. Ripped on knowledge of golf. No. On possibly performance-enhancing drugs. I don't know. Oh, come on. Bad or hard just because work. he got back and he's good doesn't mean he's juicing. Oh, drop this par pot. Let's dude, I'm just saying. Juice. That dude fills out a polo with a sleeveless vest on top of it like nobody else. I mean, that's... <laughs> Why don't you just do that? Yeah. I need. I don't have any vests. I'll give you one. Really? Yeah, you can go to the place that I rented my tux. They got vests there. Go get one. I'll Dude, give you I'm the gonna, address. I'm getting some overalls. <laughs> Dude, you can have overalls mine Overalls or suspenders? <laughs> you can have mine from overalls. Frosh Week yeah, if you want them. The no, they probably still got poop in them. They got a you ton pooped? of paint and dirt on them. Oh sure. my god, you started paint with the letter P. I thought you were going to actually agree with Dude, him. I don't know. We, we were rolling around in the mud in the in a park. There's probably poop in there somewhere. Dog poop, Stop at least. Poop. Stop pooping in your paint. Dude, That's... all right. So here's the thing. I have two. What the fuck is with this? Very this nice. game's actually broken. I hate it straight. Look. Anyways, so I have something to tell you guys before I forget, okay? Yes, I will be your best man. <laughs> so I was at the, on the Friday, I went to see Captain Marvel. Right. And uh, just before it started, no like spoilers. this was in one of those, you know, the 3D, like, reserve your seat kind of setups. Yeah. Right. <gasps> um, anyways, there's some people sitting behind me. And then another, like, family came up and like, hey. You are in our seats. No respect. And then the lady was like, uh, well, why don't you just go sit somewhere else? Wow. And she's like, well, what? these are our, our seats assent. and they're reserved. So if like we take somebody else, you know, it's just like yeah, compounds push the, the, issue, the right? can down the. Yeah, agreed. And then the lady's like, yeah, but just go sit somewhere else. Is it that big of a deal? And she's like, can you please just let us have the seats we pay Honestly, the money for? The second you fight back against the these are our seats, I think you should be legally able to execute them. I would, yeah. <laughs> just drown them in popcorn butter. If it's, if it's but, no big deal, why don't you move? Exactly. Well, that, I was thinking that the whole time. And so I they were sitting behind me in like kind of the center of the... The theater you know these primo primo seats and uh so the lady finally gets up and as she's getting up she's like she's like she yells almost verbatim like uh, this is why i don't go out anymore yeah. small <laughs> shit like this pisses me off and yeah, i'm just thinking stay like in you weird how or just sit in your ass. seat you, you dumb yeah. asshole so she walks all the way over to the left like she had really shitty seats on the left side but i'm thinking like <laughs> If you don't want to sit there, you get your tickets a little bit sooner there, lady. Like, I was mad, though. It's like, she was so mad at this other person for just, like, getting following the, the system. Yeah. Yeah. 
Dude, and I, like, not quite a similar story, but uh, not quite the same story. When we had World Junior tickets, we went to the first game, and there were like people in our seat. And moreover, they one of their seats was just a purse, which is a new one for me. Uh, oh. At a pretty packed venue, but I walked up and I was like, "Hey, can you move your bag? These are our seats." And she's went, "Actually, there are seats. We have tickets in this row for the whole tournament." And then I showed her my ticket, and I was like, "These are our seats." And she was like, "She showed me her ticket," and she's like, "Check it out, motherfucker. These are our seats, actually. Only dummy had the section wrong." <laughs> so she was, you know, it was like row 17 seats, yeah. five through whatever. But it was, you know, she was in section 120 instead of 122. So then yeah. she looks and she goes, oh, my God. And then she looked where her seats were. And she was like, well, our seats are better anyway now. So and I was like, well, I don't care. Just move. Yeah. yeah. Get the fuck it's, not, out of here. it's not an ego trip. Just just get the hell out of the way, you dummy. I'm trying to sit oh. down. Why is it? I'm sorry I offended you that you made a mistake and then quintupled down on it. But just relax. I think this yeah, going Frankie for said. In that woman's name, Michael A. Alfonso. It was my, it was my mom. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, people just got to make stuff so difficult, you know? It used to happen, like, uh, definitely when reserve seating just started here. I remember I saw, like, four movies in three months, and every single time the people next to us were asked to move. They were like, no, these are our seats. They're like, oh, are they? Like, oh wow! I'm like, yeah. Well, who would have thought? But ever oh. since then, it's been nice. It's like, I've I have never since then encountered a situation where people have been in our seats or you know we've been in their seats. I Mostly because I it's... can read, so I always sit nice in the location that's designated on the ticket. The yeah. Here. I I find it humorous that people will still get their airplane tickets wrong. Yeah. Like yeah, it's a letter and a number. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just just go. Go to the letter and then go to your number. Like, it's above your seat. Why is this complicated? Yeah, literally like every row. Yeah. It has like the A, B, C, D, E, F sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Or it's like the really people doesn't. where, you know, it's on, it's a smaller plane and there's like, you know, just the window seat and just the aisle, like not a, not a, a middle seat, right? Mm-hmm. And then you're like, right, say, you know, you have a window seat. Mm -hmm. You get there and somebody's sitting there and you're like, hey, you... I think that's my seat. And they're like, oh, is it? I didn't realize it. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you, di you didn't realize you didn't have the, the window seat or you just didn't think I would call you out on it. You know, <laughs> you, dude. you know, here, nothing too scary. people are terrible. It's just terrible. Just, just nice terrible. Just absolutely car. awful. That's why I don't go outside anymore. Just small dude, shit like honestly, this. you're, you're better me for off it. <laughs> This is why I don't go out anymore. Oh, man. Huh. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah, good times. Yep. Yep. So what was this next game that we're Dude, playing? Dude, it's Half Dead 2. Yeah. But all oh, I can shit. think about yeah. is after I... Drain this putt. I gotta drain something else, if you know what I mean. Me too, dude. Uh, what? What, what is it? It's tingling. What is? <laughs> My penis? Oh, your dick is tingling? Dude, I got a piece of so That's not badly. something you can say on like, I guess Public it's not America. really your... It's not really the tool that tingles, is it? It's like... It's, it's no, kind of like it, just slightly behind it. Kinda. Maybe. I don't know. It's a little weird. I don't know. You tell me. It's tingling for you. It's not tingling for me. I'm trying to... What's well, weird, right? Because, like, I don't know what's tingling. It's like my brain is telling me what's tingling. Yeah. Tip. It's Maybe not, though. It's more like... Behind I don't know. It. It's like it's like the tingle doesn't even exist. It's like my brain is just making up the tingle so that I know what part of my body needs attention. You know? You sure? Nice. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if, if it, you know, the brain is just like, hey, you need to pee. So it's like, hey, yeah. make him think that his bladder is about to explode. Mm. But it could explode. That's the thing you gotta be careful of. It could, but like it's not likely to. That's happen. how. Uh, was it yeah, it's how Tycho Brahe died. Brahe, allegedly. yeah, and his moose fell down the stairs. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Wait, Wait, what happened? Really on him. No, he had like a pet elk or something like that that got drunk and fell down the stairs. Not even <laughs> joking. But he was an astronomer, right? Yeah. Yeah, some science Three nerd. Yeah. Okay. Not bad. <laughs> Thank you so much for the round. Some it was fun, science uh, fun nerd. Today. Anyway. 
We'll be back in three minutes to play some Half Dead 2. See you soon. Let's go. We'll be back at soon. All right, Josh, it's just you. For yeah. what? Carry carry the show for a second. We're going. Oh, you know I'm good at that. Chat, everyone do slash me space capital J space capital O space capital S space capital H. Enter. And then you're cool. Now, you can also, if you want to do things that are very fun, uh, you can replace the O with the emote of your choice. Um, some top contenders include Lion Isaac, uh, OTI Smith, um, Mouth Smile. Um, you can do, I, I just saw one for dabbing. You can do that. Oh, you could do the 69. That's also a good one. Um, you know, just whatever you want. I'll also use this time as an AMA. Ask me anything, chat. Let's see if I could read it. Also, I'm going to take this time to not read chat and update my Twitch information. How big you dick? Real big. Are you gay? No. What's your address? Your butt. Um, the wedding date is April the 6th. Are you single? No. Um, oh, what did I miss? It, it was just dead air the entire time. I don't think so, dude. It was. It was. You can ask chat. Chat, go ahead and answer him. Tell him it was dead air. I doubt that very much. They said Joshua. it. No, they just they just said everyone in chat said dead air. Look, Chad, please just... cover your ears. It's about to be very loud. <laughs> oh, God, is it? Oh, you, you amateur. I didn't have time, dude. That's an excuse. There was nothing I could do. <laughs> okay, exits confirm. Warning, read before playing. Oh, and then it just skipped right past it. All right. Well, <laughs> see you on the so other side, gonna be good. <laughs> General settings have been stored. Thank God. Game detect. Game capture. Yo, dude, half I wasn't told. Dead. It's not Half Dead 2, it's Half Dead School. Oh my god, the default character. Oh, whoa, he is an angry man. Half Dead play. Is it the same guy for you? Um, I don't know how to describe it. Does he look like the caveman from the Geico commercial? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay, fair that's, enough. I think that's about it. Recommended Mass. graphical quality is Ray Tracing Ultra. All right. What? That sounds good. Let's let's go with one of those. Half dead. Male. Head. Hmm. Yes, please. <laughs> I. It's funny because I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> Dude, I already have to say I disrespect the game. It doesn't have true baldness. Any game that has bald, but it's actually just, it, it looks like someone put a bowl on his head and then shaved it with a razor. I don't respect this. This is fake, false baldness. False balls. Oh my god, dude. Some of these hairstyles. It's like staring into a freaking fractal broccoli or something. I like broccoli. Oh, I mean, who doesn't, dude? Lots uh... of people, I think. I don't think too many like broccoli seems to be something that a lot of people don't enjoy having. I think they're coming around. They're missing out. Yeah, I mean it's good though. It, any, it's the one vegetable where your parents are like, let's just make this really rich, thick cheese sauce, and oh, then we'll drown sauce, it. Yeah. And I'm like, all right. What do you guys prefer, broccoli or a cauliflower? Oh, broccoli. Bro yeah. Really, I'm a cauliflower yeah. kind of guy. I think I would rather have a cauliflower. That's fine. Bald lame man is inviting me. Yeah. No, uh, dude, game. okay, I know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to make a private game. Well, stop inviting me. Well, now I'm you sending you an invite. You should accept. I. How many invites are you gonna send me? Well, if you just accept it, I don't have to send anymore. All right. Can I press enter and talk to you in there? No, can't do that. Well, I wouldn't expect Honestly. that. Well, I was just seeing if there was a chat box in here, and there is. Like. I think I. What do you think? Talk to me, Mouth. Updating. I, am I like in your thing or? Oh yeah, you are you're now. Here. Yeah. Oh okay. All right. 
Uh, I guess I'll click this button that says play then. Just click it. Click it and let's go. Let's away we go. Dude, Here. do you see the shoe? No, I don't see any shoe. Oh, there's a shoe. Oh, wow. Press you G have to the throw shoe. a boot. A uh, what? Press right bumper to throw a boot. But I'm using my mouse and keyboard, so let's press a G instead. Okay. How do you pick that up now? Oh, dude, I love the right click. How do you pick oh, up a... You don't need to. You got infinite boots. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, there's a basketball net, dude. It's like Alien 3. So is this going to wait 25 seconds to find no one that wants to join us? I believe that's the case, yes. Kobe. I'm going to just... see if I can find you guys. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember if we have a mini-map or not. Uh, we should once the game starts. How do you know? Have you played this before? I seen t uh, I seen it on Giant Bomb. Oh, of course. What's that cloud thing? That one. Three, two. I like all these on. boots. Do I got a lot of shoes? Like, all where right. do you fit all these at? Look, there's basketball hoops you can throw these boots in. Yes, Josh. Oh. What an astute observation. Oh, hey, guys. All right, tell me how to pick up a boot after you throw it. You throw Wait, it, why? and then you go up to it, and you pick oh. it up automatically by walking. Oh, all right. That's well, cool. check this out. I'm going to throw this boot, and then I'm going to take this skeleton's boot. Just kidding. It's not working. Oh, you hey. <laughs> hey, Look, do you, your shoes are mismatched, dude. Look at my feet. I might have picked up one of Josh's. There's a dead guy here. Look at this. Yeah, I, I grabbed one of his shoes. Hey, come on. You can also point. You can be like, go this way. Oh, so forward click is point, and right click is... All right. Come on. I'm opening a door, boys. Go on in there. Oh. I Don't throw the shoe already. Dude, what are you... Man, there's, there's stuff coming over the ceiling, dude. It's water. Is it, though? This is... A... Oh, I have 80 health. Maybe it's acid. Oh, yeah. That seems like it would be acid. Grab the shoe on the ground and don't go in that room. But you just wasted a shoe, so. Is this game laggy? I feel like what this the... shouldn't be this low. Oh, my goodness gracious. Don't go in there. What's wrong with this one? It's like there was a there was a fence thing that kind of came down and it scared me. Whew. It's just sand, right? All right. I don't know. I'm just yeah. saying. I just feel sand. like going in there. I'll go in there. You're gonna go in how, there? Do you, how do you open doors? E. Although it does say there's a hazard, but I guess it's been handled. It's a sand hazard. Um, oh my god. Give me my boot. <laughs> oh, what are they picking up? What are you? Oh, that's an ice beam. Hey, come on, my boot. Malf, you're a madman, dude. They Ow, won't let me get my boot. Ow, you motherfucker. Ow, get off me. Are you trying to take my shoe? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I think we can make it. Just don't get picked up by one of these things. Yeah, they they have limited range. Go, 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 go. Run! What is this? Oh, it's safe. I guess. Josh, where'd you go, dude? Uh, I don't know. I went off my own little. Uh, Whoa, that seems like a bad one. It's like a limbo. I don't know if I would do that if I were you. Yeah, just don't touch it. Oh, and then guys. they got spikes. Oh fuck! There's some weird things in here. I made it. This room's safe. Ow, you fucker! Oh. Yeah, you can get in here, right, guy? Mouth, you're like, a madman, dude. I don't want to... Just wanna... run! Dude, it's too dangerous. Look at this thing. It's not. I just walked right by it. It's slow going. You just got to stay on the path or there you fall in the spikes. Oh, hey, Josh. Hi. We made it. I'm hurting. You guys got... What's your... Heels? Oh, yeah, your HP is low. 50. I'm at 100. I don't mind throwing my shoe. I'm not 80. Oh, dude, there's an, another shoe here, too, for anybody that's missing one. I have both. How... Why won't I... Oh, E. There we go. E. E. 
think I'm safe. Today's word is the letter E. Uh, hey, Mops, go in here. <laughs> Dude, they really worked on the environments. Yeah, oh, they that, they oh, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Lava's wavy. Oh, Mops, you have to go. You have to swim across this over here. This go doesn't on. look too bad. It's just freezing rain. I mean, it's just instant death. Yeah, let's go through here. I like this. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bad. turret. Is that a gun? Oh, it's a oh! Wow. How okay. Can well, you jump? You dude, can we, jump. We can do. We can do this. It only spins a quarter. We can do this, dude. Yeah, we can do that. That's sorry. Do Apparently, my my to. building is on fire. Oh uh, yeah. Are you, you okay? You need to. Yeah. If you yeah. need to evacuate, I would understand. Normally, we kind of like give it like a minute, figure yeah. out if we're like actually gonna burn to death. Yeah. Which, by the way, I wouldn't recommend that as a uh, as a course of action in general. Yeah, it's probably not good. You got a nice fire alarm. Oh, thank you, dude. It's not too bad. Are we getting as we're getting rained on in here, dude? Be careful. Or no, in it's here? in there. Sorry, no, sorry. it's yeah, future rain. Oh wait, does this guy have a boot? Oh, you took it from me. Well, I just threw mine in there just to you see know if it was safe rain. Like Ryan, it. you be careful in there. There's a, there's oh, a creepy no. millipede. Don't. There is a creepy millipede. Oh, you almost got smacked by the anvil. Oh, there's no run. This is the run. Let me out. Let me out. What oh, it's this? another slicer. What the heck is this one? It's a wind? This is a fan. This is a fan. Is but it's got my thing. boot on it. <laughs> Okay, see, now the fire alarm has stopped, or is is on level one instead of level three, which means Aww. we're going to be fine. What is that? Oh, it's a fan. Yeah, it'll blow you, but there's, fan like, spikes. spiky walls. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not allowing me to You're trying to get, get my shoe boot. back. Yeah. That room looks kind of safe. What do you think about this one? Ah! The ah, fan what, pushed me, what? dude. Oh. Um, oh wait. Um. Um. Doctor Octopus is in here. We gotta go. I'm safe. Oh shit. That's a scary place. Get on my level, boys. Can you get sucked in the fan? I don't know. I think that'd be kind of realistic if you could. Uh, every single room around me is hazardous. Or at, at one point had a hazard at least. There's like the this arm thing from Half-Life in here. Oh, it's a bottom. That's the thing from Half-Life. I found the What the room. fuck, dude? What happened, Ryan? I opened a door and a big cannon shot me. Oh, no. You okay? It shot through the door, too. You can't use the old strat. Oh, flamethrower. Oh, but it's okay. You just stand in between. Oh, no. That's a that's the lava room. Where are you guys? Oh. Dude, I'm just walking around here. Is there I'm, a is I'm there a map progress. button? Yeah, I mean, you, you, can, you can see the map, right? Yeah, just press press M <laughs> and you can see it better. Oh, I think oh, I, I found the, the exit, dude. I want the really? Way. Yeah. Which one are you? Oh no, it's not an exit. It just took me up to level two. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the room I have to go on. Okay, I'm right there. We have to do six levels? That seems a oh. little absurd. That's excessive. Oh yeah. Oh wow, there's a fire. What's yep. that? You gotta watch your What's fire. that like? I got no shoes <laughs> left, dude. Ah, uh, hold on. Don't touch it. He tried. Oh, boy, oh boy! Oh, you really you're gonna fall. Bear. What do you mean I'm gonna fall? Dude, I saw a room just like this, but it was a bottomless pit. So it didn't have ice. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, it looked kind of like ice, but it wasn't ice. It's all nice on ice. Oh, I don't like oh, that. Yeah, that's that's gonna get you. That's a that's Tesla a coil. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. You just gotta not get hit. Yeah, just don't get hit. Big idiot. 
Yeah, see, I'm fine. Just stay on the outskirts. Um. I get go. Watch! Oh, oh, there's oh. many fans on this one. Just keep going. I'm taking a different route. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this room right here. It's uh, full of lasers. What's that? Uh, I oh, think I've no. been this person. Yeah, you're you're a dead person. Oh god, don't even look around. I'm so sorry. Can you look jump? at me, Ryan? Oh look no, me, Ryan. dude! It, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Just look at me. Just look at me. It'll be. There you are. It'll. It's oh, okay. Oh no, there's arms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just. <laughs> oh. Don't no. worry. I, I outsmarted it. Doc Ock got me. <laughs> Godspeed, soldier. Good luck. Yep. Yeah, you just. <laughs> Little bitty <laughs> giblets. He, he died. All right, throw your shoes in here. Rip. Uh, let me go investigate this beeping, dude. Every yeah. freaking day. Beep, beep, beep. Somebody probably just left a cheese bun in the toaster oven too long. Oh, yeah. Ah! Oh, I'm blinded by the light. What is that? That's a picture. By the light. Who sings it? Wrecked up like a douche. Da, 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 da. Oh no. Oh no. No, just go for it. Run, 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 run. No, they, they sealed it's the doors. Oh, the flamethrower? Is that the flamethrower? They, flame they that? sealed no. the doors, Malf. Throw your shoe at it. It's Manfred Mann. Band. You'll probably it's gonna be blow fine, up. dude. Oh no. Oh wow. Oh, uh, that's not what. It's gonna blow yeah. up and then you're gonna be no. on fire. Oh no, there's there's too no, many books no, in here. No, no, no. Here, can I? Oh, <laughs> oh no. dude! Oh no, it's Fahrenheit 451 all over again. Oh, you're on fire. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> was I, I was I was murdered by books. You died by none is <laughs> what it said for me. Yeah. <laughs> what a great game. Well, um. Is that it? Main menu and then start again, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. None death? You guys hear that? Yeah, of course I hear it. You still yeah. hear the beeping, huh? It's a fire yeah. alarm. I mean, it's telling you that you should evacuate the building because it's on fire. No, I looked outside and there's like... There's just a couple of cops out there. They must be Wait. hot cops. <laughs> you waiting for... <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. It's the fire alarm? Hot cops? Yeah. Why are they hot? I don't know. It's, it's a reference to Arrested Development. Don't worry. Are you sure? Yeah. Hmm. Bam. 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 Yeah, so maybe it's the Instant Pot. No, oh, maybe. Have you checked it? What's the last thing you made in the Instant Pot? I made chili in the Instant Pot. What'd you have in the chili? There was meat. Chick chickpeas. What kind of meat? Uh, it was a blend of half ground pork. Yeah. And, and half ground beef. Yeah, okay. like my meatloaf. Like Malf's meatloaf? Yes. Tell me more. I mean, that's basically it. You chili just had beans meat. in it there. Was... There were a couple of <laughs> peppers. I mean, it's a standard chili recipe. I want to make chili. Onions? Uh, of course, yeah. How yeah. how did you prepare the onions? <laughs> what do you mean how did I prepare the onions? Did them. you dice them? Or of course you I diced them. them. Or you, 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 see, I don't like dicing the onions. I like chunky onions. In in chili? Yeah, man. That's I mean, I'll, I'll get with it because I love onions, but that's a little unconventional. How is that unconventional? Because you want it, everything to be kind of smaller. like that's No, you want the right. chunks It's in not there. a freaking beef stew, brother. All right, no, boys, you I'm get gonna, chunks. I'm going to use oh. myself as the shoe because I should uh, investigate this fire alarm. I don't think you should do that. Oh. You're going to freeze to death. Yeah, you're going to freeze to death. So like, I didn't want you to go just, alone. Just go. Oh, here, wait, wait. Jump into that fire. Yeah, It'll jump, be like right, a jump metaphor. Into no, I'm going to. Yeah. I want to serve. It'll be like as, Terminator 2. I want to yeah. serve as the shoe first. But then. Right. It, oh, right, it did right, shut right, off right, anyway. Right, shut off. Never mind. It did not shut off.
Ryan, check this out. If you jumped in that thing, but also saluted, it would be like the thumbs up from Terminator 2. Yeah. It would be kind of similar. I mean, if, point, dude, I got it's like... high hopes I could probably... Oh, it's, it, there's a sound in here, dude. Oh, oh, oh. Oh yeah, you got. That's a bad one. You want? You don't. Why want... are we just running? So you blindly. can stop. I'm. I'm the shoe, dude. But the fire is put out. It's not put Whoa. out. It's still dinging. Don't you hear it? It's, oh yeah, now I hear it. Us. Yeah. I can't be killed. The yeah, game same. is too simple. Oh, it Keep did going. stop for a second there. It's my bad. I'm a little on fire. You're on fire. What? I was like, what's that crackling? And then I turned around and there you were, crackling away, on fire. Oh, you're fucked in here. Are oh, you lucky? Oh, oh I'm glad I didn't go in there. Hey, it's the Josh death room, killed by none. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just wait. You're at the edge of the map. Oh, oh no. I mean, this is... Acid rain, dude. I'm wet. All right. Oh, I'm dead. Full salute, then I'll go on spectate mode. I'll be back. Oh, this is the book burning room, dude. Oh, yeah, you're gonna get none. Oh, but don't worry, I got a bandage. Oh, good. Here you go, just check this out. I'll just, just out heal the flames, dude. Clip, click it, click, clip it through the wall and heal me. Are you getting killed by this acid rain? No, I'm not a little girl. What's wrong with what? being a little girl, Josh? There is nothing wrong with being a little girl. I mean, we could but all be killed you by want a acid little rain. Oh wait, yeah, that's messed up, Josh. You 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 know better. Yeah, All I'll right. point to this bandage. Let me go investigate like... this. All right. Don't do anything 